I respond to your invitation today as a member of a family whose eyes were opened by personal experience and to share what we have been learning at the Martha Stewart Center for Living at Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York City. I want to share with you three things that I've learned from our work at the center and that others might find useful. One, we must make an effort to coordinate care. Most older Americans have several doctors. It's important for these doctors to cooperate with one another and work closely with caregivers. Two, it's important that we as a society recognize the stresses and challenges that caregivers face and support them as best we can. And three, we must encourage families to open up a dialogue now. Even if your older relatives are in good health, as my mom was, it's important to plan for a day when they might not be. My concern today is whether our country and our overstretched medical system can possibly meet the demands of those 76 million baby boomers who will start turning 65 in the next two years. In what ways do you think the Martha Stewart Center for Living at Mount Sinai Medical Center meets the needs of older adults, their families, as well as the professionals who serve them. Uh, there are more than 3,000 patients um, that visit the center on a regular basis. Um, and uh, every patient at the center is assigned to a clinical social worker uh, to help patients and families with the many social and financial issues that accompany aging. In addition uh, to over 20 geriatricians at the center, there are also cardiologists, nephrologists, endocrinologists, nutritionists, psychiatrists, gynecologists, and pain specialists all in one place, uh, where, uh, which really does facilitate uh, the coordination of the care of these patients. Electronic medical records, rather than paper charts, um, are used here so that all doctors can easily access patient information. Every medical student who graduates from Mount Sinai rotates through the Martha St uh, Stewart Center for Living so that they graduate having some exposure to managing the care of this special patient population. It's really too early to pronounce our model successful, but we are confident that it will be and that our complete approach to patient care can be integrated into other medical facilities uh, in this country and hopefully elsewhere. Thank you.